Well, the Pink Guitar started four years ago when me and Kevin, uh, who also works at the guitar shop, just, uh, went to the Russian River Bruco for their breast cancer awareness month. And they had a pink Fender guitar up there, like 200 bucks or something. And we have some friends there, and we started talking to them, and we said we would build next year's guitar. But then this year, this guitar just turned out so beautiful. We had the opportunity and we had this hookup at this event that was a really good people, raising a lot of good money for a good cause. And we, you know, get to have fun and put together a little piece of work. Both my parents had survived cancer, maybe both of them by a decade ago. So when I told them this we could first start building, they just left. Design-wise, there's a couple of custom features on this instrument. We've got uh, an ebony armrest here, uh, wood ebony pickguard, ebony fretboard, and uh, ebony overlay on the peghead, an inlay, a beautiful inlay by Timmy LeVold himself. Cowboy. The whole thing is bound in some really beautiful koa. We were, this was, the, the koa was a donation from uh, Luthiers Mercantile in Windsor, LMI. They're awesome. Something that's not so typical in electric Les Pauls, too, is that our connection between our neck and our body is on a wedge. Usually the fretboard is glued right on top of the body, but we have this nice sliver of a wedge that kicks our neck off. She's going to be hanging up at the Russian River for the next couple of weeks until the evening of the 27th. And um, up until then, you're going to be able to buy raffle tickets, five bucks a piece or uh, five for $20. And um, on the 27th, there's going to be a raffle drawing for the guitar and everything else that they have there. And um, not only do you get the guitar, but it comes with a, a guitar pedal from Voodoo Lab and um, a gig bag from Reunion Blues and 10 hours of recording time at Prairie Sun Recording Studios in Katati.